Ladies and gentlemen, geeks and nerds, welcome back to another episode of Road to Hermitcraft. And we are here in the trading hall. And since last episode, I've been doing some trading and uh, getting rid of some villages that weren't any good. Uh, but yeah, I want to show you one thing. Check this out. Mending for 10 emeralds. Check this guy out. I've been doing some trading in Feather 43. That's useful. Uh, where is it? This one. Look, mending for 10 emeralds. And so I've done a bit of trading. And if I show you, check this out. Mending, mending, mending. Oh yeah, got all the mending books. So and I've got mending on all my gear now, which is good stuff. Mending on all of this and all my tools as well. So really good stuff. Uh, I need to add mending to my backup gear, my backup elytra, so I'll do that. Now I've got the books. But yeah, just wanted to show you that. And so here's some of the trades I've got. So I've got a silk touch guy here. Uh, I'm breaking two, I want to get an unbreaking three. Um, I've got a couple of uh, clerics because I think I'm going to do some trading for Lapis because uh, I'm going to need quite a bit for the Death Star because we need blue dye to make the cyan uh, clay. And yeah, got a Fortune 3 guy, got an Infinity guy, uh, another mending guy. I'll keep him around. He's more expensive, but yeah, we'll keep him. Uh, this guy's got Feather Falling 3 and Shumpler 3 as well. So yeah, still got quite a few cells to fill up. So I'll keep keep this going, keep trading away, keep filtering out villages until we got uh, until we got a good set. All right, so that's that. So today, today's episode is going to be a bit different. Um, so if you're on Discord, you'll probably know about this. But uh, yeah, this week I have hardly any time to record. <laughs> so normally I record on a on a Friday and a Saturday. Uh, that's my recording days. But so this week, myself and the family are going away which would be cool, uh, but that means I have hardly any time to record. So this is going to be a bit different. I asked for some questions for a Q&A session. So I'm going to be doing some bits and pieces just around the world, all sorts of different little things and uh, answering your questions as I go. All right, so let's get on with it. Okay, and here we are underneath the carrot farm and I'm just changing up what these uh, what our item streams look like because in our um, sugarcane find over there we use red as the uh, as the channel if you like you know for our items we don't have glowstone so I thought I'd make this look the same so I've taken out some of the water already uh, so we're going to do this as uh, yeah we answer some questions so the first question which a few people sent in uh, is kind of variation on the same thing is like how did I start a YouTube channel why did I start a YouTube channel why did I pick Minecraft that kind of thing. So yeah, to cover all of those questions, um, I guess, well, first of all, it all really, st well, it really started with my creeper farm uh, design. Uh, I was just mucking around with that in uh, creative and it seemed like a good, a good thing, because a good idea. Uh, so I decided just to stick on, stick on YouTube and I posted uh, in Reddit about it. And then it kind of blew up. <laughs> God, I think at the moment it's almost at 150,000 views or something. So yeah, and if you search for Creeper Farm, Minecraft Creeper Farm, it's pretty much at the top, uh, almost at the top. So yeah, that's where that all started, I guess. Um, but actually it started a little bit before that, funnily enough. And now most of you won't know this, but I actually started doing a series before that. So I started a Minecraft series before I did the Creeper Farm. Um, I did like four episodes and it was pretty bad. <laughs> I think I got something like, uh, I don't know, something like maybe maybe 20 views or something on them. Um, yeah, but they were pretty bad. <laughs> so I did four, but then I gave up. But then I did the Creeper Farm tutorial uh, and then I thought I'd give it another shot with the uh, single player world and try to do it a bit differently. And seems to have seems to have worked. Uh oh. Rip my torches. <laughs> Alright, let's get this in here. Uh, yeah, it seems to have worked so far, seems to be going pretty well. Um I watched back my first episode the other day and geez, that is terrible. <laughs> my voice is so dull. Oh my gosh. Um but yeah, that's a lesson to everyone, you know. If you want to start something, just start it, you know. Don't uh, don't kind of wait. Just uh, just get on there, try these things out, learn from your mistakes, and uh, just get better. You know, just persevere, try and get better. Yeah. See you later, torches. 
Yeah, so that was that. That was that. So, um, yeah, so a bunch of people asked about that. So that's really what it was all about. And of course, at the time, and obviously still now as well, I watch a lot of uh, Minecraft videos on YouTube, uh, mostly Minecraft. Uh, and obviously that that's that um, centers around Hermitcraft, as you would expect. Um, obviously, I watch other people as well, like Il Mango, Methods, and all the technical crowd. I try and keep up with them. Ray Works is a really cool guy if you don't watch him. Yeah, and I think the technical side of things, or you know, the the mechanical, the mechanics side of things, has always been the thing that's interests me about the game, uh, which you probably guess, <laughs> I imagine. Um, being a programmer and an engineer, that kind of side of it appeals to me. So, uh, yeah, let's get rid of all this. There we go. I'm going to, have to redo all my torches. Uh, that's a boring job. Let's just finish this off. Actually, while I'm doing this, the other thing, I just downloaded the latest snapshot, the update aquatic, update aquatic snapshot. Oh my gosh, that has got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, I've just been doing some exploring. Haven't really done uh, that much, but um, yeah, that is looking very promising. So he's got the turtles. Um, it's got the new uh, things in the water, like the kelp and the sea sea grass so that is looking really cool uh what else yeah it's got the enchantments on the trident or the trident itself as well it's looking really cool so yeah what i'm going to do is i'm going to do some more experimentation with that and i might do a video if i find some cool stuff and uh, there'll be a lot of people doing sort of uh, videos on the basics so i probably won't do that but yeah if i do some exploring around and i find something interesting then uh I might do a video on it and see, uh, see how it goes. Yeah, hopefully that's something uh, that will interest you. Okay, here's our item streams all done. Got the red in, looking looking nice. And actually I noticed that I used um, these iron trapdoors here to sort of trap the water. So I've done that. I've done that over at the sugarcane farm as well. I had a slab there before, but I've made that the same as this. And now I'm just gonna fill some of this floor in because we haven't had a floor here forever. Um, now I do wanna come up with a good floor design at some point, but for now I'm just gonna stick in this gray concrete um, just so it's the same as the sugarcane farm. But yeah, I wanna do something a bit more inspiring with this floor, for sure. So this is a temporary thing. And then once we once we get something that's good, then we can replicate that across in the other rooms. All right, so the next set of questions was uh, more around some basic stuff about, uh, about me. So things like, how old am I? What do I look like? That kind of thing. Do I wear glasses in real life? Um, so yeah, let's cover those things off. So yeah, all right. Well, I'm not gonna say how old I am exactly, but uh, you can imagine I'm married with three children uh, and I'm a, I'm a child of the, of the Star Wars era. So we grew up in Star Wars. So yeah, when Star Wars was pretty new, uh, we were in the playground playing with our X-Wings and our Luke Skywalkers and whatnot. So you can probably uh, guess roughly how old I am from that. Um, in terms of how I look, I'm six foot one, I'm pretty tall. Uh, I do wear glasses. In fact, my avatar looks, my skin does look kind of like me. I do wear glasses. I've got blue eyes. I've got brown hair. Um, I don't wear a bow tie though. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's that. Um, and in terms of, yes, yeah, so there was a question uh, about kind of do I enjoy sports and that kind of thing. So I guess when we're on that track, uh, I do try and keep fit. So I do a lot of running. Um, I do. A, I run about 25k a week uh, over the yeah, over the course of the week, and I go to the gym a couple of times a week just to you know lift some weights and try and try and keep fit. So yeah, I'm relatively fit and stuff. Now, interestingly, I I will tell you something interesting now, um, which is something I don't really talk about very much, but I will to you, the Geek Squad. Um, feel like we know each other now that I can I feel like I can talk about this kind of thing so yeah that wasn't always the case I wasn't always fit and healthy um, a few years ago I was actually obese I was pretty overweight and uh, yeah that was a pretty pretty down time down time at the moment at, at, at the time um, but yeah I managed to change what I ate and how I ate and started getting fitter and fitter and over a long time like a couple of years uh, managed to shed all the weight and now I'm up to a healthy weight so yeah so anything is possible now that is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done 
uh, if anyone is in a similar situation with uh, food and have a have bad food habits then you know how hard that is to give that stuff up um, but yeah basically I was eating too much eating too much of the wrong thing um, so changed all that and that is super hard that is a super hard thing to do um, and then once I lost a bit through just changing change of eating then I started uh, being more active and yeah I've been doing it ever since so now I've been yeah, it's been five years now since uh, since I started, and things are going well. Uh, so, well, it's always a bit of a battle for me and food. I'll be honest with you, but uh, if I keep on top of it, then it's not too bad. So, if anyone's in a similar situation, then don't give up. Keep trying. You can definitely do it, but it is very hard. Okay, and after that bit of work in the Death Star, we're now in the Overworld, and in a cave. Now we haven't done any caving actually for. Uh, I don't think for quite some time. Um, now actually we need to do some caving because we need to find an uh, error head for Mr. Bottom Rastard for his uh, Hall of Fame. So uh, I'm going to do a bit of caving, see if we can find some spawners with some chests in and maybe get some lapis will be cool because we need that and fight some guys. Thank you. All right. So next question then. So I had a question from my friend Blended Spider and sort of sim on the similar lines of like uh, more kind of personal things I guess and to kind of wrap that side up I think yes yeah, so he asks um, with a solid job and a wife and kids how do I find time to plan and record an episode um, well the short answer is it's very very hard <laughs> that's why I only do one episode a week uh, but at the moment yeah so I said to you before that uh, I'm a programmer I'm actually a freelance programmer so I work for myself uh, which is good because it means that I can control when I work um, so I, I'm uh, very privileged uh, in that respect um, so at the moment since I started the channel I decided to just work four days a week um, so I could work five days a week well and earn more money but I decided to invest some time in a hobby of mine which is uh, making videos and instead of working and earning money oh spawner uh, I'm going to give this YouTube thing a go and see what happens. So yeah, YouTube is definitely not a thing to start if you want to make money, I'll tell you that. <laughs> if I wanted to make more money, I would just uh, just work more. Um, oh, no head, boo. Um, so yeah, so I work four days a week. So generally what I do is during the evenings, during the week, sort of Monday to, well, Monday I stream. So yeah, so Monday night I stream, and then sort of Tuesday to Thursday evenings is when I sort of do research and planning, that kind of thing. Because um, my kids are still quite young, they go to they go to bed, and my wife works in the evenings. So when she's out and working, kids are in bed. I've left I'm left to my own devices, uh, and so that's when I do my research. And then on a Friday, when everyone else is out, my wife's at work, and my kids are at school. That's when I do my recording. Yeah, and I need to eat because I wasn't going to die. Yeah, so that's how I fit it in. Um, normally I get most of it done on a Friday and then on a Saturday is when I sort of finish off. So do the last bits of polish, uh, finish off the uh, finish off the episode. Oh, another one. Awesome. All right, let's see what's in here. We need to light this thing up. Dude, seriously. Oh, I killed a bat by accident. Sorry, bat. Let's just get rid of these guys. Stop. Hey, hey, whoa. Jeez, spiders. And you guy, you need to go. Thank you very much. Right, let's see. Do we get an error head in here? No, rubbish. What about this one? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Rast, why did you ask for an error head? Uh, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep looking. Okay, the next, the next question on the list is from Sneaky Cupid. And Sneaky Cupid asks, would I rather live a week in the past or a week in the future and why? Now that is an interesting question. Um, I guess, first of all, I guess depends when. Are we talking like a week in the past, a week in the future? Or are we talking like a long time, like hundreds of years or thousands of years? Um, I suspect thousands of years or hundreds of years would be more interesting. So I'd assume that length of time. Oh, here's a... Let's see what's in here. Uh, I think I would prefer, as a man of progress, to live in the future. Um, yeah, I like my technology, I like uh, science, that kind of thing. So it'd be really cool to see where we've come to as a species, maybe a thousand years. Have we uh, left the planet? 
do we live uh, live elsewhere? Uh, boo! I'll take the I will take the iron though. I will take that. What this one? Uh, <laughs> no luck. I'm trying to find it rest, honestly. Um, yeah, I think uh, spending a week in the future would be awesome. Um, just to see all the new technologies, just to see what the human race is uh, capable of. Uh, hopefully we survived <laughs> that long. We don't destroy ourselves first. Um, okay, we're flying back to the Death Star after our spell over in the overworld. And in fact, we're going to bypass here and go right over to the Borg Cube because we have some repairs to make. Um, a little while ago, we flew a flying machine into here uh, to get an elytra back and uh, we damaged it and haven't fixed it yet so let's get that fixed shall we while we're here doing some odd jobs um, right so yeah the next question then is from Freaky Autumn and he asks a very very important question and that is pancakes or waffles seriously that's your question pancakes or waffles okay well that's the question so I'm gonna say pancakes uh, in fact just in the UK we've just had uh, Pancake Day, Shrove Tuesday. I'm not sure if anywhere, anyone else in the world celebrates that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just had that here. And that was yesterday, actually. And that's where you just eat pancakes of all, type, all, all types and fillings and stuff until you feel sick. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we definitely did that. And yeah, it was really nice. So I would say pancakes for me. There we go, fix that wall up. Very nice, and we've got the same thing on the other side. Because our fly machine just flew straight through that wall and then went straight over there. <laughs> uh, right, where's that carpet gone? Here, here we go. Let's get that back down there. All right. And the next question is from Random Man 72 And he asks, or he, sh I guess it's he, Random Man, asks, uh, do I sing in the shower? And if I do, what song do I sing? Uh, well, I don't sing in the shower, uh, probably because I've got a terrible voice. But having said that, I do sometimes sing in response to a question. <laughs> that sounds weird, I know. So, for example, my wife, my wife might say to me, uh, uh, "So, what do you want for for lunch today?" And I'll and I'll reply and I say, "What do I want for lunch today? Can I have a cheese sandwich?" <laughs> That is the extent of my singing, my singing skills. So yeah, that's something interesting. I guess so wacky. Um, yeah. On that note, pardon the pun. Let's move on. Okay, so we're over in the Death Star, and we're taking down uh, part of this part of the corridor because it's the wrong size. Uh, if you remember from a previous episode. When I filled in the floor, got a floor design, I realised that this corridor is not wide enough. It needs to be a block wider. So I've made, a, I've done that already down down there, and obviously the floors we've done up the very top are done. But these these ones we kind of laid out aren't quite right. So I'm going to take these down uh, and then rebuild them. All right. So as we're doing that, the next question is from a uh, random geek guy, and uh, he says again, I'm assuming it's a he. He says, uh, "What's your favourite?" Uh, musical genre or artist um, okay let's uh, let's go for that oh one block left ready jump Hoi! oh no didn't jump fly okay so musical artist or genre uh, I would have to say I'm partial to uh, I mean I like all sorts of music I guess uh, I don't just stick to one type but I guess my favorite is sort of dance music electronic music that kind of thing um, and my favourite band, actually, has been there for a long time, since I was young, uh, is The Prodigy. So I don't know if how, I don't actually know how well known they might be outside of the UK. Uh, but The Prodigy were a very big band uh, in the UK in, in the 90s. Lots of dance music, um, really popular, really popular band. Um, so yeah, that's my favourite genre and favourite band. Okay, and the last question is from Masonator24. And the question is, if you could influence a large number of people, what would you influence them for? Um, that's a good question, interesting question. Um, I think I would try and encourage people to have a, a bigger sense of empathy uh, for other people. So understanding someone else's viewpoint. Um, I think that a lot of the problems in the world uh, 
between countries or big groups of people, but also individuals. Uh, basically stem down from not understanding or not uh, not taking account of other people's point of view um, and just realize that your point of view might be different to someone else's but it doesn't mean that you're right and they're wrong it just means you've had different life experiences and have got different conclusions about things so I always try to listen to other people try and take on what they're saying try and understand it from their side you know pretend that I'm in their shoes and a lot of the time that gives you a better outcome. Um, I'll give you an example. So I, before I was uh, before I worked for myself, I worked for a company and I was responsible for a team of people. And before I became responsible for a team of people, um, you just kind of get on with your co-workers. You, um, you don't really think much about, about things. You think everyone else is doing just fine. Um, but then once you become uh, responsible for people, you then find out about all sorts of uh, problems they, that they have. Um, and you realise, you quickly realise that everyone has got some kind of uh, issue going on in their life, uh, whether it be big or small. And yeah, once you realise that and you kind of realise that the way they do things and why they do things is because of these things you don't know about, you didn't know about previously, it all makes sense and all seems reasonable. So yeah, I think uh, to influence a large number of people, I'd say try and have a sense of empathy, try and uh, think about things from the other person's point of view, try and understand. Um, and you don't have to agree with everyone, of course, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. Um, but uh, don't shoot down someone else that has a different opinion. You know, we can all get along, we're all human beings. We all, uh, oh, it all lines up, look at that, check that out. Um, yeah, so that is that, I think. Just empathy, empathy is the key word. All right, just got to fill this in then. Okay, here we are, all done. Done the floor of this level. Um, so we still need to do the other floors. Got those two there to do, uh, the one that we sketched out. Uh, but we will deal with those. Let's get this all sorted out. Put that in there, put that in there. Grab you. All right, and off we go. And here we are in the Hall of, Hall of Fame. About to wrap things up, but before we do, I wanted to try one thing. Um, yeah, Blended Spider asked if I could try stacking armor stands and have a helmet, a white helmet on the other armor stand uh, to see what it looks like with a helmet on top of the uh, the mob head. So yeah, there's an armor stand with a, a helmet on it. So if we break this, hopefully that falls down. How does that look? Hmm, it glitches a little bit, isn't it there? If I walk into it, mm, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure that looks all that great, but I said I'd have a go. Blended spider, <laughs> there you go, that's what it looks like. And from around the back, yeah, it looks all right from the back. Front is a bit, not sure about that. Um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to try actually while I was here was somebody, I can't remember who, I will look it up and find out, said that we could maybe encase these in glass. So what do we think? Is this going to work? If I was to do that and that, and then something like this, something like this, is this even going to work? I haven't tried this yet. If I was to do that, is that going to work? Let's go. Wait. And again. Oh, I need to break you again and stick it. stick it here and then put a button there and then do that what do we think of that if I take this out of the way what do we think get rid of this dirt as well so we get the full effect what do we think of that as this as the uh, as the stands maybe we could use colored glass um, I'm going to reorganize this room I'm going to put decorate this room nicely, I'm going to spread these out maybe into a circle, that kind of thing, uh, have some different levels. But for an individual, what do you think? Should we have the should we have the helmet? I'm not sure that works, but I'll let you know. You can let me know what you think. And also, should we have a glass case on these things as well? Either clear glass like this or a different color? Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And that would be interesting. All right, so let's wrap it up and let's add a new member to the Hall of Fame. And that new member is White Rabbit. Thank you very much, my dude. Uh, so yeah, White Rabbit, he or she, uh, I shouldn't assume, uh, 
they are prolific in the comments for the videos, always leaving me lots of really helpful positive feedback, um, which I find really useful, helps me to improve, so thanks very much for that. But also this week um, did a really cool design for uh, uh, Ocean Monument. I'll stick a picture of it on the screen. Um, there's more pictures in our Discord if you want to see some more of it. So get onto our Discord, we've got a self-build channel, so there's loads of it in there. Um, but yeah, this has given me a great idea for what we can do in this world. Um, so I'm not going to do something, I'm not going to do exactly the same, but uh, yeah, it's given me some inspiration. So yeah, we'll do that in the next few episodes maybe. So thanks very much for all the support, my friend. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And that is about it for this episode. A totally different episode to what I'm normally used to. Um, as I said, I've only had a few hours to record this week rather than the two days I normally get. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you like this kind of episode? Uh, what can I do to make these episodes more interesting? And yeah, until next time my kicks, I'll see you later.